Yo, what's up, guys? You Bovo Mages bringing you some more Naruto gameplay. Playing as Sasuke Uchiha versus Zabaza. Doing a big, doing one of my favorite um, scenarios. I'd like to see if Sasuke could actually beat Zabaza in a 1v1 if Sasuke had more training and came back and fought Zabaza. So. We're going to get it started, and we're playing on super di super hard difficulty, or whatever it's called. It's the hardest difficulty you play on, and let's get it started. In the beginning of this, you know I, I, I always got to do my super when I first started my my ultimate. Because in the beginning of a game, and then the Naruto, um, I think it's called Shipp Naruto Shippuden Ultimate Ninja Storm Generations. You can the chances of hitting an ultimate as soon as the game starts is really high. Like you have like an 80% chance of hitting an ultimate. So I like to start off with an ultimate. But anyway, today I wanted to talk about if you guys were interested in any Skyrim videos. Like I have, I've been playing Skyrim lately, and I am bringing some um, some Minecraft videos too. But I'm talking about Skyrim. Like I'm not talking about like full gameplays, but maybe like maybe some tips or just some like funny stuff because. My computer can't really handle a whole lot. Like I can't do like live streams or live commentaries. And trust me, I've tried. It's not like I haven't tried, but my computer is not really the greatest computer in the world. And it's it's an average computer. It's like an it's an HP Pavilion uh, G series. Not really anything special. It's a five hundred dollar computer. It's 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 for the average man. You know what I'm saying? But um, as you notice, he goes into his uh, awakening. And before in my my other Naruto videos. I would say he was going in like into an ultimate. But actually, it's called a going into awakening, which basically means he becomes like faster, stronger. Uh, he can only he can't use his ultimate finisher, but he can use one of his finishers, and it and sometimes it changes your finisher. But in the situation, you kind of want to stay away from him unless he goes into like a like an awakening where he he gets like a giant form of himself. You know what I'm saying? Then you want to attack them, but when they're like this, you kind of want to stay away from them. You might notice that I'm going ahead and attacking them because I notice that he doesn't have any um, anything to like block me, and that was pretty easy. That was easier than hell. Like, I have a that did work. I was like 80% health left. Let's see how much health I have left. Um, from right there, it'd be pretty hard to beat. That's pretty hard to beat right there. Uh, I got. 78% health, that's not bad, and A and A is good, and A is really good when you're playing this. Uh, S is the highest, A is the second, and then it goes on to B, so you know, that stuff. But that's pretty hard to beat, and I'm already going to say it's, if, you know, if I, if it's not even close, then I'm going to say uh, Sasuke, but we don't know. Let's let's get to the second. So this time I'm going to play a Zabza. I actually like Zabza. I wish they didn't, like, I wish he didn't, like, die soon, like, really, like, like Naruto started and, like, 20, 30 episodes in it, Zabaza is already dead, you know what I'm saying? So, I like Zabaza, but I never play as him. I like his I like his moves. The only thing I don't like about Zabaza is he's slow. And obviously, because he carries around that big sword, which is pretty cool. But, he's a little slow. And playing against Sasuke, which is really fast, and jumps around like a damn bunny, it'd be pretty hard to uh, fight him. And I can only tell you right now, it's 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 a little more, uh, it's a lot harder when I was playing as uh, Zabaza. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put these traps down and try to stay away from them and, and charge up my uh, chakra. And I always want to say key, but it's actually chakra. Blah. And um, as you see, he's just jumping around. I'm, I'm having difficulty actually hitting him because he's, he's you know, he, he's like half the size of me. He can, he can easily dodge every every bit of my moves. And uh, actually, this is I was going to do a... Um, a Sasuke versus Gar, but uh, I was like, well, I was like, maybe I could do Sasuke versus uh, Zabaza because they actually didn't really get to fight, and you know, right after Sasuke and uh, Kakashi, Naruto, and Sakura beat Zabaza, you know, Sasuke becomes a badass. I mean, he was a badass before, but he wasn't like, you know, a beast. But now, you know, after the you know Chinu exams, he's a beast. So I just wanted to see if if it was you know if it would actually happen. Now obviously there's variables in here. I mean we can't really go by this, but it kind of helps. And he's whooping my ass right now. He's not whooping my ass, but he's definitely giving me a fight for my money. You know what I'm saying? But if you guys would like to see some Skyrim videos, let me know. And I'm trying to hit this guy with my ultimate. I never can do it, but I'm thinking about doing some Skyrim videos. I'm thinking about it. But uh, as you see, I'm going into my awakening. 
And I'm just gonna bum I'm gonna bum rush this guy right now. And it's pretty close right now, as you can see, it's kinda close. We only got 40 seconds left on the clock. I need to finish this right now. I need to get it over with. I need to finish you, Sasuke. Beat down, son. Take that sword, man. Take it like a man. Just get fucking. Uh. <laughs> but anyway, <laughs> let's see what the uh, final um, score was here. Uh. Health was 28, 36. So I'm gonna say, if this actually happens, Zabuza would lose. And Sasuke would win, even though I'd like Zabuza to win. But anyway, guys, this has been Bobo Majors, and I'm out.